Muscle Gerbil plays Cuphead. Episode 11, Giving the Devil His Due. Hello everyone, welcome back to Muscle Gerbil Plays Cuphead. Last time we took down the sleazy casino manager King Dice, we confronted the devil, and he took our souls. We're not going to let him do that this time. We're going to change the loadout real quick. Because charge shot, eh, it doesn't really work with the devil. All right, we're going to make the other choice this time. We're not handed over the contracts to you today, devil. Welch it on me just like all the others, eh? I'll teach you for backing out of a deal. How about you? All right, time to take down the devil. Devil is tough. So first phase, he's just going to sit on his throne. And he has a couple different attacks he's going to throw at us. All while throwing his minions out as well. So he's got the orbs. Right here. They're pretty easy to avoid. I just wasn't paying attention. Oh! He has goat form where he claps his feet together on you. Oh, he's going dragon form. Ooh. Dragon form is one of the tougher ones to dodge. You gotta use utilize smoke bomb to get to get under him. And then he hits you with goat form right away. Ouch. Yeah, the dragon the dragon form is hard to dodge. You really have to be exactly in the right spot. The feet aren't that tough, you just have to know when to jump. You gotta jump at just the right moment, and then dodge to give yourself some time to land. Nope, I was going for the parry. You jump, and then, yep, I jumped a little bit too early on that one. And all the while, he's just running. These little devil guys are running at you. So you have to be aware of that. Let's see, he's going to do a different form this time. He has a couple more. See, just like that, you got to wait until the feet come into screen. All right, first form is done. He hops out of his own body. It was just an illusion. Here's the real devil, a giant disembodied head. So he's going to throw the axe at you while flaming poker chips fall down. All right, now you can either parry that or you just run away because it is a massive explosion. We're going to try and hold on to our super move as we die, of course. Ooh, we were almost done with that form, too. The key to this fight is a good first form. If you can get out of here with, you know, two or three hit points, you should be golden. Just got to keep doing damage. And then wait for that. There we go. Aha. I think the pea shooter works well on this form. Just so you can line yourself up directly with the throne. Ooh. Oh, come on. I dodged right into it. Now we have spider form where he's just going to fall from the ceiling a couple of times. Probably the easiest one to dodge. As long as you stay on the move, you're okay. Nope. I dodged too far. Ah. Uh, Alright, we're going back to second form with one hit point. Our MO. This one is just stay on the platforms. And just, just avoid everything. Get away from the bomb. And try not to fall in between the platforms like I just did. Fantastic. A great slam in that yeah. King Dice was tough. The devil's just a pain in the butt to beat. Cause there's no uh there's no getting extra health in this in this fight. 
And if you, you know, don't know how to dodge properly like me during this fight, you're gonna take some damage. Just like that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I figured, having beaten this boss already, I would maybe do better. But the devil does not mess around. Uh, I thought about going for the parry, but it wasn't worth it. So I'm just going to jump into it. That Because that makes more sense, right? I'm just going to hit him with some EX moves. Get out of this form quicker. Ooh. Like, these little devils don't, don't pose much of a threat. They just get in your way. Ah. Watch, he's about to jump out of his skin, isn't he? Yep, of course, one hit point. Alright, back to second form. The poker chips that are falling are always gonna fall in a linear fashion. Like they're they don't they don't randomize. It's always they start at one side of the screen and go to the next. Gonna save up our super move for the next phase. Nope, or we're gonna get hit by the axe. Okay. Oh, he was almost done with that phase. Just gotta get through this first phase with more than one hit point. It's entirely possible. Just gotta, just gotta stay active, stay moving, you know? Burn those calories. Make sure none of those little devils get in my way. Alright, there we go. Doing good, doing good. Doing well, doing well. Oh, the balls. The balls always get me. Because they move at a weird speed. Alright, we made it with two hit points this time, though. That's, that's a plus. We might be able to do it. If I can start firing immediately, that would be awesome. Whoa. Nope. No, we didn't get hit by the bomb, aren't I? Darn it. Got hit by the poker chip. Can't believe that. I don't think I've ever been hit by the poker chip. God, these axes. I hate these axes. Oh, almost through the second floor. Yeah, for the goat form, it's jump away and then dash back. Oh, everything moves at such an odd speed with the devil. Like, it's not super fast, but it's not slow either. Come on, there we go. If you could just use spider form every time, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Come on, jump out of your skin. Great, the balls. My mortal enemies. Ooh, smoke bomb saved my life right there. And right there. Come on, jump out of your skin. Jump out of the skin. Which way are you coming from? That way. Alright, that should be the last... The last form. I had to have done enough damage. Alright, we're going in with full health this time. Time to show the devil what's what. Spread works well on the big eyeballs because, you know, you can hit. Hit them. Alright, we got a parry off on that. That was key. Come on, he's gonna, he's gonna shoot another axe at me. He's gonna... All right, third form. So third form, the platforms drop out. And he starts making a lot of... Nope, I dodged. Dodged the wrong way. And jumped right into an enemy. Darn it. Darn it, he was almost done with third form too. Last form is just, you just... You just shoot him a lot and he goes down. Oh, my controller disconnected for a second. 
no big deal, no big deal. You know, just another, another obstacle on the road to beating the devil. Oh, a lot of stuff on screen going on now. Ooh, I got really lucky. Nope, nope. I hesitated way too long on that jump. And you do have to dash out of the way when he spins his uh, trident around, or else it will cause damage to you. Alright, if we can just get to the second form without taking any more damage and not taking any stupid damage during that form, we might be okay. Come on, jump out of your skin. There we go. Whew. That's just heart pounding. You know, we're gonna use the super move. No! How did that hit me? And I'm dead. Just jumped right into the poker chip. Yeah, I gotta save gotta save the super move. Maybe start utilizing EX moves a little bit more on this form. So I can get it down faster. Ooh, Smoke Bomb is just saving my life right now. The Little Devil take about two shots. Got two shots a piece to take down from the pea shooter, so they're quick to dispatch. Darn balls. No! Oh, I keep taking all this stupid damage I don't need to take. Come on, he's got to be almost done. This has to be it. This has to be it. We have to be moving on now. Okay. Here we go. Devil is very, very colorful in this form, though. Whoa, that was close. Alright, got the parry. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta just stay on the move. Just stay on the move. Don't get hit by axes. Oh, I keep getting hit by the chips. Alright, we're gonna super move. We're gonna hope this gets him into the last form. Alright, the big flying guys on the other side are very easy to take down. The last form, you only stand on the middle platform. That's right. Okay. Wow, we were so close. So close, but so, so far away. Just got to get this first form down in a timely fashion without taking too much damage. Just got to not panic. Just got to keep our cool. Because it's hot in hell. So you want to stay cool. Stay hydrated. Come on. Oh, those little purple devils getting on my nerves. No, it's the balls. Of course, it's always the balls. Ooh, baby. That was a good dodge. I am very proud of that dodge. I don't know why, but... Come on. We should be almost done. No, go back. Go, go back to your home. Back on his head. All right, jumping out of the skin. We're going in with full hit points. Woo. Getting pumped. Got to get pumped for this run. Yep. You just got to remember the poker chips fall in linear order. All right, that's on the other side of the screen, so I don't need to worry about it. Got to keep track of which 
platforms the poker chips are falling onto. Alright. Second form. Defeated. No! I tried to parry it. Didn't work. And I just, I just stood still. I just stood still and took it. No! I, I just... I just completely lost track of where Cuphead was on the screen right there. I was too concerned about taking out the ads instead of taking out the boss. Oh, the heat-seeking flames are not, not the easiest to dodge. Gonna hit some EX moves. I should build up enough super over the next few phases. The faster I can get out of form one, the better. All right, there we go. Yeah, a couple EX moves should turn phase one into, you know, something manageable. Stay away from me, pink bombs. Stay away. Stay away from me, two axe. Nope. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, come on, form three. No, what? The axe doesn't disappear. This lap will get red hot. All right, 12 times the charm. Got the spider. Spider's easy to dodge. It just lasts forever, though. Hit him with a couple EX moves. Oh, got the jump timing down on that. What's he gonna do next? He's gonna do the twirl. Alright, these little purple demons are really getting in my way. Where are we going? Left or right? Right! Ooh, I'm so close right there. That's too close for comfort. Jump out of your skin. Come on. Ah, the devil's horns are actually bones. They're not made of, like, you know, a protein or, like, what other horns are made out of. Interesting. If it could just keep doing the bomb, that'd be awesome, because, you know, the bomb is easier to dodge than the axe. I just, I've never been able to get that axe pattern kind of down. Alright, good second form. Going into the last form... Oh, we're going to hit super move. I'm going to need the invincibility for that poker chip. No! Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Come on, come on, come on. Just do some EX moves. Jump around. Got him! Got him! Aha, take that, devil. Yes! Got him. What do we got? A minus, I'm betting. A minus. The brothers had triumphed over the demon, forcing him to finally give up. We shall accept your surrender, devil. Cuphead laughed. But we're not done just yet. And with that... Cuphead and Mugman destroyed all of the soul contracts, releasing Inkwell Isle's residents from eternal servitude to the devil. Gosh, I can't wait to tell everybody, Cuphead said. The boys set off for home and at top speed. 
Well, come on. That last one there's a le leaky cup. Mugman teased as they ran. Once home, the brothers gathered everyone together. You're all free of the devil's debt, Cuphead announced. And that feed won't b, b bother us again, Mugman added. The elder kettle was literally brimming with pride as everyone began to cheer. Let's hear it for Cuphead and Mugman! Hip hip hurrah! Hip hip hurrah! As an all-day celebration began, the brothers promised to never wander into trouble again. And they didn't. Until the next time. Of course. But that is another story. The end. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining me on this adventure through Inkwell Isle. Cuphead. It was as challenging as, as you know, it, people have said. A uh, grand total, grand total deaths. Let me look at my math here real quick. 27, 138. And with the last couple episodes being reshoots, I'm going to put my total death count at about... I'm going to say about 185. Uh, you, you've really got to have some solid reflexes and some really good pattern recognition to be good at this. Um, and it's just practice. You know, the more times you die, the more, the more you have to learn. Let the credits play. These people must have worked incredibly hard on this game. The art style was fantastic. Um, very creative enemy designs. Uh, I don't really like the fact that there aren't that many run-and-gun stages. I feel like if there were maybe been about three or four more, uh, I would have liked it. But an emphasis on boss battles, you know, is not a bad thing. Literally my favorite game of all time, Shadow of the Colossus, is nothing but boss battles. So, the bosses are well done. There were a couple that could have probably used some tweaking. Um, some are too easy and some are way too tough. But, you know, you just gotta get good. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned to the channel. There are more Let's Plays coming up. And check out some of the other Let's Plays that are on the channel if you haven't already. Hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day. I'm Muscle Gerbil, and I will see you next time.